I'm standing here along Hurstbourne Parkway, which runs right up the middle of Kentucky House District 31 from Jefferson Town down by Taylorsville Road all the way north to Shelbyville Road through neighborhoods like Plainview, Oxmoor Woods, and the city of Hurstbourne. I'm proud of the work that I've done. Uh, when I decided to run two years ago, it was because I love this community and I want to make sure that it's taken care of in Frankfurt. Republican Susan Tyler Witten has a business background and chairs a housing task force looking at affordability across Kentucky. She says she wants to balance the need to increase the housing supply with concerns over density and traffic. There are some communities that the individuals that chose those communities chose them for the, the, the zoning that it currently is. And so we don't want to overstep that. One of her top priorities, she says, is public safety, noting her support for House Bill 5. That law stiffens penalties for many crimes and bans camping on public property, which supporters say gives cities an extra tool to manage homeless camps. I feel that it is not compassion uh, to let people, especially people that have drug addiction and mental illness, um, to live and remain on the street. And so House Bill 5 um, identifies that and rectifies that. But Democrat Colleen Davis says she believes that controversial bill was misguided. Just putting homeless people in jail does not solve homelessness. Um, you know, and that's what my opponent did this past legislative session. The Louisville attorney says she'll fight for reproductive rights if she's sent to Frankfurt. I would introduce a bill that would protect reproductive rights and force people to go on the record opposing that. Um, I don't know that we're going to restore them this session, but I, I want to be a part of the effort to restore them hopefully very soon. And she says she'll fight for public education and rolling back new taxes on services such as auto repairs that the GOP enacted in order to lower the income tax. The service tax bill shifts the tax burden onto working people as opposed to wealthy people and corporations. Um, and so I want to try to shift it back. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.